Hello and a very warm welcome. 2021 season predictions I made before the season started in March. This was uploaded on the 14th of March. And yeah, I make some predictions and let's see how my predictions were. So we got the video in the background. Now I've been trying to get the sound as loud as possible for the last 30 minutes. I've got each volume on max. I hope this is going to work, but we're just going to watch this. Let's go. Hello, very is back on our screen. Let's skip a bit of the intro. We're going to run down a couple. World champion, rookie of the year, the biggest shot, a team surprise, best race maybe. But yeah, comment down below your thoughts. Get on with it, you long head prick. Is the man on the screen that way as I look, Lewis Hamilton. Uh, uh. Well, fucking hell, that's a great start, isn't it? I've got that one run already. He will be an eight time world champion, no doubting in my mind. 99.9% guaranteed before we turn the wheel. Oh, shit. Not a great start to these predictions. <laughs> that. 0.1% actually happened. He beats Valtteri Bottas every day of the week. And Bottas isn't good enough to lace his race boots. So, I think we can all agree <laughs> on that one. Lewis Hamilton will go down. As Stop well, talking. Stop talking. One one, we got that one right as Mercedes clinched an eighth constructors. Of course, when I'm making these predictions, I didn't expect Red Bull to be as competitive as they were. They've absolutely dominated the hybrid era and it will continue into 2021. Now, I do believe Red Bull have a stronger lineup than Mercedes, but Mercedes are just too good. They win too many races. They don't have a lot of reliability issues. I hope you can hear me because the sound's on full blast so um, when you're watching this video I'm watching it now and I'm reacting so I hope you can hear me uh, the, the video but yeah I thought it'd be very good to watch this back No, I don't think I'm right on that one. I think Mick Schumacher did a very solid job for his first season in that horseshit car. So I don't think I'm right on that one. Come on. It's my team, McLaren. My team, McLaren, will win a race in 2020. Yes! That is my big shock of the season. McLaren haven't won a race since 20. Yes! Oh, yes. I got it right. What a big call to make. And you can actually see, look, 14th of March, 2021, I called it that McLaren would win again. We got it right. Oh, I'm buzzing about that one. Racing points can win a race last year. Why can't McLaren win? If we get a crazy race like a Port of Mauer Mugello, 
a monster. Oh, oh, and they they like to abuse me in the comments saying I don't know anything about Formula One. I don't know anything about Formula One. Oh, he's only gone and said McLaren will win again and Carlos Sainz will beat Charles Leclerc in the drivers, which both happens. Now we're looking very tasty. Charles, oh, I got it right. <laughs> this is great, great. Again, you could actually say that is possible. Alpine, biggest team surprise. They won a race with Esteban Ocon and they finished fifth in the Constructors. So I would say that's three in a row. I would say Alpine did quite a good season. Alpine have really impressed me. And I think they could surprise us. Here. Don't know why I'm saying Alpine as if it's a fucking tree. Alpine looks very <laughs> Oh my god. Alpine. What the fuck's Alpine? Now, my wish, if I could choose one thing to happen this season, it is for George Russell to score points. That is the one uh, thing I want. Oh, stop MUFC. Just stop, please. It's like we did this before the season started and we've gone in time over nine months. And I'm just, <laughs> Russell scored points. Well, that happened. This is incredible watching this back. He's amazing in qualifying. Amazing when he went to Mercedes for that one race. He deserves points. Now, retirement. I do believe Lewis Hamilton will retire. He will win eight titles. And he's oh, shit. We're back to not getting that right. Although, technically, it could still happen. But I don't think it will. Oh, what we're going to say. Um, I'm excited to see what Tsunoda can do. There's a lot of hype around this guy. And Jack well, I got that one wrong. Yuki Tsunoda didn't really get close to the podium, did he? Apart from Abu Dhabi. Japanese drivers always seem to deliver. So, podium surprise. Yeah, I'm going to give it Tsunoda. Um, who else could you really give it to? Because... Well, technically, you could say Mazepin Latifi, so, and Latifi cost Hammer on the World Championship. So, it's, I, I mean, that's kind of 50 50, that one. You could say I'm right, but kind of. It's not looking too bad. We got like five out of eight right so far. Oh, shit. What is it? I'm watching this back. I can't even remember what I'm said, so I'm just reacting. Ball call. What am I going to say? I have no idea. Actually, I think I can remember. I said Giovinazzi had beat Kimi in the drivers. Oh. Yep. Antonio Giovinazzi will beat Kimi Raikkonen. Yep. Well, he did in qualifying, but not in the championship. Giovinazzi has improved massively. Massively. He's the most improved driver. I agree, and he's off the bloody grid. Run on that one. 
Russia was actually not bad this season. It was not bad Brazil, but it wasn't the best race. Yeah, let's have a quick run. Nope. Wrong. Correct. Wrong. Yes. 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 No. No. 50-50. No. So there we have it. My 2021 predictions. We look back on it and we got a couple of right. And I'm most proud of Carlos Sainz will beat Leclerc. That's the one I'm most proud of there. So yeah, just the idea I had to look back on the predictions I made in March. Thanks for watching. Adios. Adios.